And now Chris Hahn joins us to give us some perspective from the other side of the aisle. Uh, okay, Chris, uh, you just heard what Congressman Burgess had to say. How do you respond not only to him, but also just the impeachment developments that we watched unfold yesterday? Well, well, maybe in his dark red district in Texas, he has nothing to worry about. But there are 19 members of the Republican caucus who live in districts that Biden won, and they are panicked right now because this is something that is not going to help them get reelected, which is why Speaker McCarthy did not ask the entire House of Representatives to vote to open this impeachment inquiry as he promised he would do weeks ago. This is not going to be good for the Republican Party. It shows that they lack seriousness. And we are now using impeachment as another tool in the political toolbox of partisanship in this country so that Kevin McCarthy can appease the most extreme wing of his party. But haven't this is Democrats not good for done Kevin that McCarthy's too with Speakership Trump? Or the, or the party. But what do you no, say to, to people President who say Trump, we've seen this from both sides now, people using impeachment, you know, at the blink of an eye, the drop of a hat? I say examine what President Trump did. He sent an angry mob to attack our capital to try to delay the certification of the election. And he threatened one of our biggest allies with holding uh, critical military aid unless he dug up dirt on his opponent. Those things were caught on tape. The Republican Party should have removed him as they would have done for Nixon in the early 1970s. But unfortunately today, people only care what jersey people are wearing politically and they forget about governing in this country. I think what we have right now in America is a problem with the reward system. Uh, people who are working on policy do not necessarily get the same uh, you know, air time as people who could come up with, with quick sound bites. That's why you see people like Matt Gates on TV all the time. And you don't see the many Republicans and Democrats who are actually doing the work to try to keep this government functioning and solving problems getting the same kind of play. It's, it's disturbing. It should be disturbing for all Americans. And to your point that you were making earlier uh, about the vote, and so far there's not been a vote on whether to, to move forward with this, doesn't President Biden have a literal trump card to play here? Because uh, in 2020, Trump's Department of Justice formally declared that impeachment inquiries by the House are invalid unless the chamber takes a vote to authorize them. So are we going to have to see that vote, vote take place here to move forward? There will now, I, I, I will predict this right now. There will never be a vote. Because in addition to the 19 uh, Republicans in Biden district, there are many other Republicans who would really like to just do the business of government and not play this partisan game brought on by the extreme wing of their party. So Kevin McCarthy doesn't have the votes for this, which is why he didn't have a vote. And until he gets those votes, this is going to go nowhere other than to help Joe Biden's poll numbers. It's going to coalesce Democrats around him. They will rally to him. And you will see an increase in Biden's uh, popularity. Yeah. And there's obviously uh, kind of differing opinions on both sides. Republicans say they have all of this, this evidence, these allegations that they've uncovered. Democrats say there's not a shred of it. Uh, what kind of blow did this deliver to the White House yesterday, and how does President Biden move forward with his 2024 messaging in, in light of this? I think he moves full steam ahead. I think this is no blow at all to the White House. Uh, you know, look, you always got to be concerned that the media is going to both sides it, as we're kind of doing right now. Uh, but at the end of the day, there's no there there. They have no evidence they had this star witness, and the only thing he could come up with was that Hunter Biden put his dad on a cell phone call when they were out to dinner. There's no, you know, look, Hunter Biden is a guy who had serious drug problems, and, and he had a famous father. So, of course, he would refer to his famous father. And if Hunter Biden did something wrong, the Justice Department should, and it looks like they are going to prosecute him. But this does not have any impact on Joe Biden, and there's no evidence and no direct connection to that. And the House of Representatives is grasping at straws in an attempt to appease a few extreme partisan right-wingers mm -hmm. who want to hold 
Kevin McCarthy hostage, and quite frankly, they want to hold the entire nation hostage by not approving spending bills that are needed to keep the, the government open. Yeah, we'll say, and th that testimony you're referring to, Devin Archer, uh, that former business partner, I think a lot of people, Republicans included, probably thought uh, they overpromised and, and maybe underdelivered there. Uh, Chris Hahn, thanks so much. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.